Hey everyone, my name is Riley and this video is a complete Amelia plugin review. In this review, I will show you everything that you need to know about the Amelia plugin, the pricing, the plans, how it actually looks inside and once it is installed into WordPress, the ease of use, how you set everything up and essentially everything that you need to know. Now to dive right into the pricing. And by the way, if you do want to get Amelia, you can sign up with the link in the description and that will give you the best deals and discounts discounts available. Now, with that said, when it actually comes to pricing, this is the one downside of Amelia, in my opinion. This starter plan is essentially redundant. Realistically, if you are using Amelia, you probably need to go with at least the standard plan. Now, this is certainly not true for everybody, but a big thing that the starter plan doesn't allow you to do is take payments through your website. So if you are booking appointments and you don't need to take payments, maybe you are just not taking payments at all, or maybe you are even taking the payments in person, then you should be fine on startup. However, if you are charging for your services on your website, then this is where you need the standard plan. If we go down, we can see all of these things included in starter. So we get unlimited appointments, we can book unlimited events, we can put unlimited employees that we have working for us, we can put them into Amelia and we can have people book appointments with them. Uh, five different booking forms, customizable design, da da da. Is there anything else important here? Not really. Now, if we look over at Starter, the difference between this is multilingual support can be quite handy. We can also have recurring appointments and events. So this is maybe if you are a therapist or a counselor and you want your clients to be able to book in with you, maybe every Tuesday. Well, once again, you would need at least the standard plan to do this. Then, as I mentioned at the start, for payment providers and WooCommerce payments, these are only available with the standard plan. Our online meetings, you don't need to upgrade for this. Like you could just put a Zoom link in the emails that you send out through Amelia. And once again, there's nothing really super important here. The pro, in my opinion, is a little bit overkill for most people. I mean, with this, you can allow people to add things to their cart so they can purchase multiple appointments at the same time. And we also get WhatsApp integration. We can refund payments that have came through. So this is the pro plan right here. And then with the elite, like this is really overkill. You probably are never going to need this. But what you can do is read through and see if there is anything here that you might actually want to purchase. So as I say, you usually need to go with the standard plan. We can get a discount for going lifetime. Instead of paying, this is probably like $85 per year. You can instead pay maybe $225 right here and you can get this for lifetime. The Amelia installation is actually very easy. Once you have chosen your plan and entered in your payment information, then all you have to do is download the Amelia zip file right here. Head over to your WordPress account and then in the plugins area, you can actually go ahead and install this plugin. Very easy to install on your site. Once we have the Amelia plugin installed, the first thing that you will want to do is go to settings right here. And in the settings area, we can set up things like our working hours. We can enter in the company information. A very important to set up payments. As if we set up payments right here, of course, we need the standard license. We will then be able to take payments on our WordPress website. Aside from that though, the rest of the setup is essentially coming into all of these areas, adding the employees that you have. So we can add all of the employees right here. And on all of the plans, you get unlimited employees. Once your employees are added, we can then go to the services section. And this is where we can add the services that we offer on the website. So we just go in here, we add the service, we can choose a photo, the name, and we can go up and choose a duration and price add some images into the gallery and we can set that up right there. You can also add locations. If you have different locations that you might be in, you can set locations up in this area. And then if we go to appointments, this is going to show us all of the appointments that we have coming up. So it's just going to give us a list of the dates, where it is, the person who's attending. We can see appointments right here. We have a calendar view that's going to break this down into a calendar. And then we have the Amelia dashboard right here where we can see everything at a glance. So all of the appointments booked, the revenue, uh, the employees right here, any upcoming appointments that we have, we can see all of the data here. Now to actually add the booking form to your website, once again, this is actually very easy. However, it is going to depend on the web builder that you are using inside of WordPress. 
For example, for me, I'm using the Elementor Builder. So I can click into Elementor here. And then all I have to do is search for the Amelia plugin. And we have a few different options right here. So just to show you the difference, we have like the step by step, which I will add in. And it's just going to show me this text whilst I am in the editor. But I'm going to go back out. We can search for Amelia. We have like catalog booking right here. Just to show you one more, we'll go Amelia. So it's definitely worth playing around with all of these and seeing which one you prefer. But I will add three of these to the website right here. And then we can see this is the step by step layout. So the person comes down, they choose the date and time that they would like, enter their information, and then they can go through and pay. Then we have this type right here where they click book now, choose the date and time, go through and make the payment. And then we have the calendar view where they can go in and book an appointment here. So overall, when it comes to the Amelia plugin, it is one of the most popular booking plugins for a reason, because it is absolutely fantastic. The only real downside to Amelia is the fact that the starter plan is very limited and you usually do have to upgrade to the second tier. With that being said though, it is very reasonably priced, especially if you are taking payments over your website for your bookings. And the actual tool itself once you are inside of WordPress is very easy and very smooth to use. So that is my Amelia plugin review. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.